Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Erupted Wisdom Tooth Extraction. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be walking you through this procedure today. A wisdom tooth extraction is a surgical procedure in which an oral surgeon or dentist removes one or more of your third molars, commonly known as wisdom teeth. Most of us have to have our wisdom teeth removed due to chronic pain or discomfort, periodontal disease, or an increased risk of damage to the adjacent teeth. Some dentists and oral surgeons may also suggest that you have your wisdom teeth removed as a preventative measure, even if they're not currently causing you any problems. Our patient today is having their lower right wisdom tooth removed, or, as a dental professional may refer to it as, tooth number 32. Before we begin, let's get some x-rays taken of our patient's teeth. X-rays, or radiographs, are essential, low-cost diagnostic tools used to examine a tooth's roots, check the health of the bone surrounding the tooth, observe the status of developing teeth, and locate abnormalities. Let's get started. First, insert a positioner into the patient's mouth. Next, position the x-ray cylinder where indicated. With the x-ray cylinder in place, we need to get behind our radiation barrier to reduce the amount of radiation we're being exposed to and take the picture. Don't worry, a lead apron will protect our patient from any unnecessary radiation exposure. I couldn't have done it better myself. I'll have my assistant finish up the rest of the x-rays and then we'll view the resulting images. Well, everything appears to be normal with the wisdom tooth's roots. And now that all of the x-rays have been completed, we can extract our patient's wisdom tooth. The two most common wisdom teeth extractions are for an impacted wisdom tooth or an erupted wisdom tooth. Patients that have two or more wisdom teeth extracted or have impacted wisdom teeth may choose to receive a general anesthetic. When a patient has an impacted tooth removed, the procedure is referred to as a surgical extraction. Our patient today is only having one erupted wisdom tooth removed and has elected to go with a local anesthetic. To begin, you'll need to apply a topical numbing gel to the anesthetic injection site. This will help decrease any pain the needle may cause. Next, we can inject the local anesthetic. The patient may feel a slight pinch as the needle is inserted. After that, the area will become numb for a few hours. And now we'll give our patient a few minutes to become completely numb. Great, the patient's mouth is numb, and now we can move on to removing the wisdom tooth. First, you'll need to loosen the periodontal ligament and elevate the tooth using a dental elevator. Using the dental forceps, grip and rotate the tooth in a clockwise rocking motion until it's loosened and removed. Now clean the area using a surgical suction. This will allow us to check the area for any bony matter or tooth structure that may be left in the socket. Everything looks great, but we're not done yet. Our patient needs to slowly bite down on some gauze for a few minutes to allow the socket to properly form a clot. Since the patient is clotting properly, we can go ahead and place some fresh gauze in their mouth. When getting wisdom teeth removed, it's important to remember that everyone recovers at different speeds. The rate of your recovery depends on a number of factors, 
including the complexity of the extraction, your age, and your individual recovery capacity. Often, patients will opt to have their surgery on a Thursday or Friday, so they're able to return to work on the following Monday. After the surgery, the oral surgeon or dentist will provide some information tips that may help speed up your recovery. These tips may include using an ice pack on the outside of the cheek for the first 24 hours to reduce swelling, refraining from physical activity for the first few days, avoiding sodas and the use of a straw, and gently rinsing your mouth out with warm salt water to help relieve pain after the first 24 hours. It's also suggested that patients do not smoke for at least 24 hours after their surgery. Smoking may not only delay healing, but it will also reduce the blood supply and could introduce germs and contaminants to the surgery area. And that's a wisdom tooth extraction. You did great. If you're up to it, why not try another procedure on SurgerySquad.com? Check out our other videos on SurgerySquad.com.